here is is one for you oh. from Arnoldus Antoine. No, wrong. Gabor Arnoldus, we're coming to you. Gabor is set. Daniel, would you consider? Ah, it's jumping back and forth. Signing the Cure to Mute Records. <laughs> they are working on songs on new album, and much as I know, they don't have a record deal at the moment. <laughs> I could ask you that question. <laughs> I'm also an old-time The Cure fan. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, Disintegration was one of the best albums ever made. Okay. No, <laughs> no, no, no. And let's see, mm -hmm. let's see uh, what is your answer to that? D the Cure, Robert Smith is looking for a label? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I mean, I've, I've, I like The Cure. I think the, the, I really like their early things best, I must say. Um, I mean, they, they have a, they've done a, have an amazing career and they've been a very important band. I know they were very important uh, in Eastern Europe as well. Under you know, In the Iron Curtain days, they were very important to yes. kids there, as, as were Depeche and a, a few others. But Absolutely. Cure were really a very important band. So, um, but on the, on, the, on the musical side, um, I would, you know, anything that we sign, I have to be absolutely passionate about and because I have to convince people we work with and then convince the world and if we're not really feeling it passionately then I would never I would never work with an artist because it wouldn't be fair on us or them and while I respect the cure and think they've done amazing work I don't have the passion for their music that enough of the passion for their music that yeah. that would uh, put, put me in a position to to sign them that, that I think that is a great question which which I, I have mm. another follow-up question for that how, yeah. how um, because I I struggle with this a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm a kid of the 80s. I grew up with all the 80s music. And I sometimes, mm. especially in the middle of 2000s, mm. I always fell back to like this music, but out of a melancholic and sentimental uh, motivation. Yeah. And no one else around me really understood what I was trying to say and yeah. trying to do. Um, and how do you... How do you like juggle this? I mean, you're running Mute since more than 40 years. Uh, you're running Nova Mute. I mean... This is exactly the point. If you get approached by bands like The Cure, where I would be like, oh, yes, The Cure, of yeah. course. Um, but it's because of my sentimental mm. um, of uh, course. Uh, yeah. things. Uh, don't you, uh, aren't you go on, on the risk sometimes to fall into this trap, to sign a band because you loved them so much 30 mm. years ago? Well, I a good example yes. is New Order. Yes. New Order, of course, were on factory records for very many years. Um, I loved them. I knew them a bit. Um, then they were on Warner Brothers records, and their, their contract with Warner Brothers ran out a few years ago. And I was put in touch with them because they were looking for a new deal. And, I mean, I was a huge fan. But I was also very nervous. You know, they'd been around for a long time. I have to say, honestly, I wasn't the last couple of albums they put out were not my personal taste that much and they already came out like 10 years ago or more than 10 years ago now so I was I was kind of on the edge so I, so I went to, to meet them and we had a great talk and they were very open about what they wanted to do and they Im immediately sent me some demos or r early versions of tracks that they were working on and I have to say I was completely blown away by the, what I heard so that really convinced me because I loved the music And then they ended up making a fantastic album, which people, a lot of people say is the, the best album they've made since Technique, which was, God knows, 25 years ago. So that was a, a case where it was a really positive, there was a really positive interaction. I was passionate about the music. I, knew, I really felt strongly that this was going to be great. And their live shows have been amazing. I think people are also saying they're doing the best live shows mm -hmm. they've ever done. So, and then uh, other groups from that era, of course, when we did New Order... Everybody thought, oh, Mute's doing, you know, is, is, and so we got approached by a number of other artists, really great artists, but I didn't quite have that feeling for it. So we said, you know, good luck. So that's, that's where uh, the advice mm. to Robert Smith comes. Just send some demos and see yeah. if Daniel feels it. Because that's, I think that's where you make the decision, if you feel it or not. Yeah, that's and right. You, yeah. And you, you just leave behind all the other information that you might have in your head. Yeah, because you have to separate that. You yeah. have to set, I mean... Music, the music is emotional. It's an emotional business and it's an emotional creative process. And you can't separate the emotion from the music sometimes. But mm -hmm. f when you're, you know, we don't sign very many artists. And when we do sign an artist, whether we think it's going to sell a thousand or a hundred thousand or more, we put the same amount of commitment into that. You know, we don't have priorities. And so everybody 
in my great small team has to has to we have to move in one direction and if the passion isn't there to start with it, it's never going to work wow and yeah. it has to work both ways we know yeah. for the artist has to be kind of really want to work with us too oh yeah oh you signed a fanboy i already <laughs> told you <laughs>